dear children how are you all okay so now we were doing the workbook exercise of the chapter fire in a hotel and till page 39 we have done it in our previous video now comes we come to page number 40 fine it says use suitable words from the box to complete the sentences given below again the same thing few expressions or few words are given in the box and we have to use it in the blanks accordingly right the butterflies are sitting the butterflies are sitting where on the flowers so we have to choose on the flowers from the option which is given and we have to write it down it's very simple very interesting exercise and i hope that you all must be enjoying doing it right Similarly, the second one. A monkey is swinging. Now, which expression or which group of words will go? From a branch. A monkey swings from a branch. Right? So, in this manner, you are going to cover up the remaining part of the exercise. Although, I have provided you the answer in the assignment section. Now, comes the D exercise. In which, there are words beginning with the letters M, N, O. And we have to place them in the table according to the alphabetical order. Now, if you remember, in the same workbook, in the previous chapter, we have arranged the words beginning with P, Q, R in the alphabetical order. And at that time, I made you understand the concept. So, this exercise, you are going to do it yourself. Fine? The answers are well there in the assignment section sheet. But try not to copy the answers from the sheet, but try to apply the logic and try to recall how we arrange those letters in the similar manner you have to arrange these letters, these words this time also. So this practice you are going to do it yourself. Right. Now, coming to the next part of the exercise, it is writing practice. Like look at the pictures and read the notes, then write the story on the next page. Now what, what's here beta? Here the picture is given, like the pictures are given and the hints are given. And the hints are given. Now what do you have to do? You have to combine the hints, frame sentence and write it down in the blank which is given there. Right? This of course, I am going to tell you only the first line how you are going to attempt. Rest, my dear children, it is all creative writing. Right? I have also explained how to combine the hints, how to frame sentences and how to write down in the previous chapter. Right? So, the same concept is being carried out. Here, we just have to do one thing with her. Here it is, Vikram dot 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 police inspector dot 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 police station telephone rang right so the simple uh, it is the writing practice yes it is the writing practice so simply the first line will be Vikram is a police inspector Right? One day he was sitting in the police station, his telephone rang. So this is how we are going to combine all the hints and frame sentences and try to write down the story. I have provided you the answer in the assignment section. But my dear children, no matter how many answers do I provide, but until and unless this, cre this kind of creative writing is not done by you, the practice will not be there. So, because the answers are there, be rest assured that you can always verify your answer. First, try to attempt this exercise yourself and then you can copy down the, or then you can verify the uh, answer on the answer that I have given to you. Now, coming to the next and the last exercise of this chapter, it is read this story and answer the question. Now, my dear children, it is a comprehension. Comprehension I have also given in the term to English assessment. Right? So, again, practice, practice and practice, practice makes a man perfect. So, the more you practice of the comprehension, the more easy you will be in the 
English assessment. So again, this story, everyone is knowing the story of the shepherd boy, right? So this story is regarding that and you have to write down the answers at the back. Each and every answer, as I told you, is hidden in the story. We just have to read the story or read the passage, try to understand and try to find out the answers which are related to the question. Right? I will be providing the answer, the answer key this time to this comprehension in the assignment section sheet. But again, my dear children, I would like to mention here that the more you practice without just copying it from the assignment section sheet, the more you will be confident. Right? So, this is how we will be completing the workbook exercise of chapter 5, Fire in a Hotel. Do your work in a good handwriting. Practice, practice and practice. Bye.